Dear loneliness, maybe you were always there around me like an aura of a dark of a dark mystical being that I could not fathom as a kid. Maybe because I was always surrounded with people who loved me, appreciate appreciated me and gave me all the attention that I needed to be happy and satisfied with life. Maybe that's why I never noticed your silhouette following me. I was just a happy normal kid. I didn't even know what depression or anxiety was until I found you. Dear loneliness, when I became more mature, bold, sassy and fat, the once upon a time girl who was never alone who was never alone became lonely. Why? I do not know. Those so-called forever friends, neighbors, and parents, they grew apart and I became someone constantly trying to gain attention, constantly trying to socialize, constantly trying to be loved and to feel validated. But when none of that happened, for the first time, I felt you. It was painful. You are painful. Dear loneliness, you became the reason of my nocturnal depression. Tear from the right eye first and then the left. Both these tears would run parallel along each other and would join just below my jaw from where I would start to choke and would fall all the way down till it gets destroyed by the sternum. Dear loneliness, you are like a night without the stars, just a black hollow space tearing into my existence. You are like a man who stripped me naked and left his bite marks on my neck and on my breast and thrusted himself so deep inside of me that when I screamed, you only heard me. I do not know what have I done to have you by my side. I am an innocent who is being held guilty where isolation is the courtroom. Being alone, my crime, my marriage to you, the capital punishment. Dear loneliness, you have always stayed and I have found out your weaknesses, the things which I have done which you despised. You hated it when I hate food. So whenever you came along, I always ate my cup noodles and soup and never gave attention to you. You hated it when I tried avoiding you by falling asleep into my own galactic infinities. No wonder you always found me sleeping from 10 in the night to 4 in the afternoon or till no one came home. You were afraid of monsters, so I always made you sit with me at night and made you watch horror flicks, so at least you wouldn't have the courage to chill with me. You hated poetry, so I wrote a poem come letter for you. You hated me being outside, so I always stayed out listening poetry and jazz pop till 9. You basically hated me doing anything that made me happy, so I exactly did that. I have been trying to find ways to make you divorce me because I am tired of you. Dear loneliness, I am tired of your existence and if I had the choice, I could have even killed you. But you are invincible. You are immoral, immortal, and intangible. I hope you ponder over this. I hope you find someone else's sanity to fuck with. I hope someone finds a way to get you killed. Now before I find even more ways to spite you, you better go and get that lawyer now before I do. Your wife, the girl who's seeking for happiness.